G'day folks, um, today I'm going to do a bit of uh, trail maintenance on the property. Um, I'm near the, the creek crossing which takes us up to um, other parts of the property, up to the dam and so on. But the creek has been washed out quite a few times by uh, a lot of water recently and I just want to build it up so that it's more permanent. I'll show you what I'm thinking of. So that's the other side of the trail that we're trying to get to and we normally try and cross this part of the creek. The um, camera might not show you how deep that is but it's really quite a hard crossing and we always bottom out on both sides and it's really been washed out. So what I wanted to do is put some logs more permanently across and then build up a wall and then build up all the stones behind it. So I'm thinking where these rocks are already uh, embedded. I'm going to put some logs across in a channel both sides of um, the creek way here and then yeah, build up the rocks behind it and try and flatten out this crossing. So this will probably be an all-day job and uh, I'll let you watch as I'm doing it. Um, some of the logs I want to find hopefully are going to be fallen timbers um, otherwise I might need to actually um, cut a tree down or so, but for the most part there's quite a lot of fallen wood that I should be able to use. Hopefully it's not rotten. We'll see how we go. So you can get the idea of it here, I've just uh, cleared a channel in front of that natural rock sort of wall here and I want a log that goes right across either side into those channels so I just need to measure them and go find a bit of wood that'll fit or cut one. I've got the first two logs in now. Now that it gets a bit wider, I'm just digging out the channel a bit wider, higher up. So we sort of key in these logs. So that's two down, maybe two or three more to go. Build it up to about five logs. Five logs high should be pretty good. I might need to put in a stake in front of each one. We'll see how we go. Well, there's not a lot of fallen timber that's actually in good shape. I found one piece, but I might have to actually come up with a chainsaw and take these two, two dead limbs off that stump there. I'll probably get a couple of pieces out of each. So yeah, I might go and get the chainsaw. There it is. So I'm on the other side of the creek looking at the back of it. Unfortunately there's not a lot of straight wood around here. I didn't really want to cut too much down. Managed to find some pretty solid pieces. You can see in the back of it there's quite a lot of hollows here so after I've had a bit of a break I'm going to um, fill in all those holes behind here with smaller rocks and then larger rocks. Try and put some big ones on the back here and then spend the rest of the day basically filling in all the rest of it so that the crossing up to the track is a bit more level. So yeah, a lot of work there. 
Anyway, I'm just gonna have a break now. Just as the sun's coming out, I gotta put my hat on. Kind of an overcast gray day. Cool, good working day, but still hot when you're working hard. So, a bit of a break, maybe a cup of coffee, and then uh, start working on the rocks. Just a bit of a progress update. Got the rocks as high as the logs and a bit higher so the water if it does run will run over the rocks instead of washing the logs. I've been filling it in with a bit of the um, fine kind of scree um, in between the rocks. Now I've got it that high I want to work on filling in the rest of this as much as I can today. Just a slow, steady job, really. Plenty of rocks to work with, though. Well, this is as much as I got done today. It's um, mid-afternoon. Even with the help of the wheelbarrow, it's just uh, pretty grueling work. And now the sun's come out, there's no breeze down in the creek itself, so it's super hot. And I'm, uh, I think I'm beat for today. Yeah, it's just really, really hot in the uh, creek bed there, surrounded by rock, absorbing all the sunlight and just bouncing it straight back at me. And uh, now there's no cloud cover. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, but that's really hard work. So after moving a couple of tons of rock, I think I'm uh, going to go and have a rest. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow and uh, try and do a bit more. Um, but I'm probably maybe a third of the way. The hardest part was building the wall, I think. About a third of the way. So um, another day should do it, as long as I don't run out of rocks. <laughs> Okay folks, start of day two, more of the same really, filling in uh, more of the rock wall just there behind it to um, level out the track if possible. It's a cool day to start with but very, the clouds are non-existent so it's a very clear day which means the sun is going to be a bit harsh. I figure I've got maybe three, maybe four hours of work possible before it just gets too hard. We'll see how far we get anyway. Bit of a status update. It's uh, coming up to 12, so that means I've done about two hours work. And I think I've brought it to close to two-thirds done in terms of the big rocks. A bit more to fill in here. Um, of course the big rocks are becoming further and further away. Well, that's about as much rock moving as I want to do. I mean, I could keep on going. It's a bit endless kind of a job, but I think that's wide enough for any kind of four-wheel drive to get across. What I'm gonna, well, what I'm thinking of doing is um, leveling out the approach a bit more, so it's less of a dip. So there's a bit of a mound just here, and on the other side, just on this side, so I'll use a mattock and uh, try and level that out a bit. And then I want to add some scree under the top, get a lot more small stones, 
and try and level out the top. Might even get to try it. Well, the heat's finally beat me today. That's as much as I can do. Just uh, starting to feel the effects of a bit of heat exhaustion. So I'm going to call it here and uh, go back up to the shack for a bit of cool down and rest and some more fluids. But um, it's 95% done. Could be improved, but um, we'll see how it stands up over time. It'll allow access to that track up the hill, as I mentioned before. Whereas before, the deluge we had just washed out the rocks we put in place before. So, pretty happy with my work here. But um, yeah, we'll have to come back and see how it's fared over the next uh, coming months. Well, it's now May 24th, middle of the year. The crossing has survived for half a year, I guess, roughly. I can see some visitors have been building up that far side, which is the area I didn't get to, which is good because uh, as you come down the track from the far side, you need to turn and um, you don't want to go off into the creek on that side. So. It's looking much more level, which is great. I think if we just keep topping up this crossing, it'll hopefully survive for some time. We'll have to really see how it holds up when there's a next big sort of deluge coming down this creek. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers and followers, and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks. Bye for now.